Hey, how's everybody doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Welcome to another episode of The Body Beatdown. I'm Michael, your incredible host. Mm -mm -mm. It's hump day, guys. It's beautiful outside. It's just a little cool, a little windy, but it's beautiful outside. And uh, it's also beautiful because I get to work out. We're gonna hit the old arms today. I do arms on Wednesday. And if you've been keeping up with my videos, you know that I'm doing a, a kind of a science project with my workouts for six weeks. Six weeks. I am actually only doing one movement per body part for the whole six weeks. The same movement per body part for the whole six weeks. And I'm on week number five. And the movements that I've been doing for my arms are sitting concentration dumbbell curls and lying down two hand one dumbbell skull crushers. And uh, those are my two movements of choice for this day. And uh, week number five, by the way. So uh, today I'm going to do things a smidgen different. I'm going to go lightweight uh, because I've been really doing pretty well at keeping the weights up. Uh, at a decent weight and so uh, today I'm gonna go and kind of work out those little faster twitch little fibers and muscles and hopefully uh, you know kind of break them down a little bit get some squeeze off in there and take things a little bit easier and and uh, working on uh, more of the you know the cardiovascular part of the workout instead of just getting in there and quick you know getting something done and uh, heavy. We're gonna go for a little bit. Let, let's tax the muscles a little bit. Let's tax the lungs a little bit. Not a whole lot, just a little bit, guys, okay? So I'm gonna get busy on these curls. I might shoot a clip here and there. Everybody has seen a concentration curl, but just for poopsies and giggles, we might show a clip. So let me get set up. Now, like I said, uh, I am going lightweight. I've only got 20 pounds, which I'd start out this, at this weight anyways. Um, number one, you should always warm up at least a set or two, get your, uh, get your you know, muscles and everything ready to move. Also, I kind of have to because I have bad arms. They're really, really bad. Uh, tendonitis, tennis elbow, something going on in this area here. And uh, so I gotta kind of warm up a little bit and take it easy, but we're gonna go lightweight anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now let me just say, if you were to do these with 20 pounds, all of your sets, like I'm probably going to be doing about 15 sets. If you do these with all 15 sets, you're going to have an extreme burn and extreme pump. Because uh, you're really burning out that muscle and opening up them fibers and uh, wearing them out. So, yeah, so let's do the left arm. My worst arm. One. All right, those felt pretty good. Um, one thing you'll notice that I do is I don't put my elbow on my leg. I like to go down real low and get my tricep on my leg. Uh, for me, it just feels a little better. Uh, you're not really putting any force on your elbow. And for me, it just feels a little better. So I go, I like to lay, I like to go in there and get uh, a big chunk of my tricep onto my leg. So I'm going to go ahead and do another 15,000 sets and uh, we might get another clip uh, uh, later. So hang in there guys. All right. So I've had a question uh, come up to me a while back online about how I train and uh, why, why I do what I do. Uh, and that is, you know, why, why do I train uh, why have I decided to kind of train like a bodybuilder where some guys like to stick to the traditional uh, compound movements, you know, like deadlift, squats, and bench press. 
stuff like that. Almost like strongman competition, like Olympic type lifts, stuff like that. Why is it that I go for the more bodybuilder overall uh, workout? Well, growing up as a kid uh, in the 80s, I grew up with He-Man and Conan and uh, Thundar the Barbarian and uh, other such things uh, in my life. And so those physiques uh, really intrigued me. And even uh, being introduced to uh, bodybuilding early in the, you know, in the 80s, uh, it was fascinating to me. And watching Arnold and uh, uh, Sylvester Stallone, once he got more ripped into his uh, other roles that he did, um, it was just more uh, appealing to me. And in my opinion, uh, more the physique that I chose. I personally don't care for uh, the way power lifters and Olympic lifters for the most part look. I'm not into that. Um, I won't go into like my extreme opinions on it. Uh, let's just, I, I just don't care for the look. So uh, just kind of a quick overview of why I train like I train and uh, uh, so there. Anyway, <laughs> let me know in the comments uh, what you train or how you train and how you feel about things. And, uh, you know, let's get a little discussion going, guys. All right, now I'm going to get back to my working out like a bodybuilder. Arr. All right, as I said, I might do uh, one more video clip of uh, doing a curl. Uh, I'm only going to go up to 30-pound dumbbells for my concentration curls. Like I said, I'm trying to go for the higher rep. Uh, kind of a more time under tension kind of thing where you're, you're spending more time on that muscle doing the higher rep and you're putting it through a little bit more. No, you're not getting the stress from a heavy dumbbell, but you're getting the stress from time under tension. So let's go ahead and push out one little set here on a video clip of a 30 pound uh, concentration curl. Keep going guys. Here we go, 30 pounds. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to continue on with my biceps. i got a few more uh, sets to do. And then we're going to move on to the tricep skull crushers. All right. Stay tuned and love you. Don't you go nowhere. Don't you go. Hey, where are you going? Don't go nowhere. <laughs> All right, guys. So here we are. We are moving on to the skull crushers. And uh, I'm going to try and stick with 50s through all my sets. I'm actually doing 10 sets. I just uh, made sure over there. So I did 10 sets with biceps and I'm doing 10 sets with the triceps. I hope I can do the 50s the whole time and get at least 15 reps. That's what I'm kind of going for. A whole workout of 15 reps. So uh, let's get these going. Uh, they're one of my favorite exercises ever for tricep. And uh, even if you have injuries, I can only speak for myself, my injuries that I have, these do not affect me whatsoever. So uh, that makes them really good in my book. So let's get on with Skull Crushers, guys. <clears throat> and it may knock my hat off here. Now, you might have seen the way that I just did those, 
And you might also notice that I don't always go directly above my head or above my face with the dumbbell, which is technically why it has the name Skull Crusher. But I go to the point to where I feel like I'm getting the maximum uh, squeeze, contraction on my tricep. And instead of locking out up over my head like so, I keep the weights more back so it keeps the constant tension on my tricep. Now that's for me, you might feel it differently, but uh, I've tried it a couple of different ways. And for me, it just feels better to stop just shy of uh, coming up over your head like so. And so that's how I do them. Anyway, we'll do a, oh, nine more sets. <laughs> Nine more sets of these, and then uh, we'll be done with our arm workout today, and we'll close off. I might get one more clip later uh, towards the end to see how I'm doing on the video. It might be a lot, of, a lot of struggle, so we'll see. All right, stick around and keep going, guys. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So there you have it, guys. And I'm sorry I don't have my shirt on. I decided to go ahead and take it off while I was working out. Whew. Biceps and triceps are done. Good workout. <sighs> Trying to get flex in there. I've never done that before on camera. Probably. I don't know. But uh, anyway. It's good to flex as well because it helps to uh, continuously uh, open up and stretch all those fibers. So oh, doing a little bit of posing in that is uh, always healthy to do. So anyway, I'm gonna go in here and eat my supper. I am ready to eat. And uh, anywho, hope you follow along with my videos, the body beat down. Uh, I do all kind of great, wonderful things or mediocre, however you look at it. Probably mediocre. So anyway, guys, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff too. The body beat down. Arr. Arr. Ow. Ow, I'm hurting. Uh, anyway, uh, too many aches and pains to be flexing. Guys, inspire someone today, along the way, tomorrow, the next day, next month, the next lifetime, okay? Including yourself, because you matter most. Get up, get out, get red, and do it to it. And we'll see you next time on The Body Beat Down with me, Michael. Also, please go check out Mac Bean Scottish Fitness. He, is, uh, he does fitness related stuff and he works out and he talks uh, food and nutrition and all that good stuff. And uh, I like supporting and uh, giving a shout out to people like that. Also, Home Gym Hacks and Reviews. He does some good stuff. Uh, he has an amazing gym set up all throughout his house. Uh, he's a really cool guy. Does all kind of good product reviews and stuff. Go check him out as well. All right. We'll see y'all later. Now I'm going to go eat. You keep working out. Ugh. Get up, get out, get ready, and do it, do it.